two and a half more weeks or so. Cool. Parents are going, yeah. Where'd the summer go, though? My goodness. Go to Indian Lake and go to a hotel. That's where your summer went, huh? Was that fun? Yeah. That, that was worth it, huh? Are you ready to go back to school? You're still sleeping in. All right, well, we'll see how long that lasts. All right, well, enjoy the last few weeks, right? Yeah. yeah. We're going to have communion today. And communion is always a very special time. And uh, it's a time when we share uh, a meal with Jesus. And it's like eating and drinking with Jesus. And uh, this took place when Jesus fed the... Uh, we're going to read a scripture today about Jesus feeding the 5,000 people. And I always think of communion uh, when I think of Jesus feeding the 5,000 because he breaks bread and it gives them more than they will ever need. All that they need, it gives them more. And then I think of communion when Jesus shared that with his disciples and, and he gives us all that we ever need and more. But the scripture today that I'm going to read today takes place around the Sea of Galilee. When Jesus fed the 5,000 people and he kind of gave them a fish and bread. You remember that story? The little boy came up and he had a couple of fish and some loaves of bread. And it was going to be his lunch. But he said, I don't know if he, this will help with anything. But here it is. And he gives it to Jesus. And Jesus says, that's more than enough. Because it's given with love and sacrifice. And it fed all those people. But if, around the Sea of Galilee, if you go there today, uh, you can get these little stones. What's what's the picture on it? A fish. See that? Can you see it? You got a fish engraved in there. Can you see it? And that's the mark of the place, uh, the spot where Jesus fed the five thousand on the hillside, and, uh, and this stone was taken out of the Sea of Galilee because the people would have come right up from the Sea of Galilee onto the hillside to hear Jesus teach and preach and then be fed. And this is a cup from there that I bought at a little store. And what's the symbol on there? A fish. And also a basket of bread. So you see the fish and the bread? And that's the symbol of that town. It's called Paco. And multiplication of the fish in the loaves and it's got a basket of bread and then those fish on the side of it and it's a very special symbol for us it reminds us of what God can do that he can supply all of our needs so when we take communion today um, just think of it and about as you're taking the bread and eating it and drinking the cup that Jesus is feeding us Jesus is feeding us and he's giving us spiritual food. There's physical food and there's spiritual food. I know that sounds funny. Physical food is what we just eat and then we go out and play and we need it for our energy and stuff. But spiritual food feeds the spirit. And, and the bread and the cup that we share today remind us that we're taking Jesus into ourselves and that we are being strengthened by him. And that's very special. So we should always be very happy that we have that time with Jesus that very special time we know this community, okay? But we know that through the multiplication of the fish and the loaves that Jesus did on that hillside, that everything he gives to us is blessed and gives us more than we'll ever need. Okay? Let's call our hands for prayer. Lord, thanks so much for this day. Thank you for the miracle of the fish and the loaves and how Jesus gave us more than we could ever want. Help us to know that he feeds our spirits that inside of us that is the real us. And we just pray for these children and for their families that they will always know that Jesus is with them as a help and as a friend. Amen. Okay, thank you very much. You can go back to your seat.